I quickly wanted to mention this because I thought it was fucking hilarious. This is a oh what was it? There you go. This is a tweet taken from the legend that is Matrix Man, who actually had a incredible, by all accounts, performance at Flipping Bergheim. Everyone's flipping going crazy over there on the Bergheim subreddit about how amazing his set was and essentially, you know, people basically finding it about him for the first time after seeing him in Bergheim. And it's always kind of cool to see the kind of, you know, the reports of people who go to those um, clubs and how they kind of report back on who did one who didn't do well because sometimes those sets can make or break careers and stuff so clearly for someone like a major plan has been in the scene for a while um, it was never going to break his career but it's still good to see um, him get the props and the love that he deserves but I thought his tweet that he put out a while back was fucking hilarious and I kind of wanted to quickly speak about it where he mentioned how being a DJ is one of the most embarrassing jobs in the world and the tweet itself it goes as follows he says, hi, I'm a pro DJ. Um, I need to pick up my guitar again or something. This shit is fucking embarrassing. And I have to agree with him. I think the only thing that comes close to the embarrassment levels of calling yourself a professional DJ, like without a hint of irony, is definitely what I do. In terms of being a podcaster, a YouTuber, a live streamer, like telling anyone you do this in real life is legitimately lame. The only thing is, I can't remember the last time I actually told somebody IRL that oh yeah I have a YouTube channel or something or I do podcasts or I have a live stream I've never said it once even if somebody brings it up to me in real life says oh I think I've seen you somewhere like it's kind of embarrassing <laughs> I mean I kind of want to run away I don't really want to talk about my digital life in real life it's something that I kind of you know weirdly enough don't take pride in and do take pride in but it's just objectively lame to kind of get yourself in front of a webcam and be ranting and raving alone into a flipping in a in a room by yourself talking absolute nonsense to strangers online there's nothing more lamer than it but i think djing might be on another level to it personally because with djing especially nowadays with the guys and girls who are about nowadays in the scene they take themselves way too seriously and i'm saying this as a fellow dj myself like I've always seen it as one of the best hobbies you could ever have, um, especially if you're a music nut, because you get the chance to discover amazing new music. You get a chance to play in amazing spaces. Sometimes you get paid. Sometimes you can travel the world. Um, and it's just great to kind of make people happy on the dance floor, dancing, vibing to shit that you like and maybe they like. Right. Cool. Amazing. But ultimately, it's the I would say the easiest field in the music industry to kind of get involved in it's the lowest barrier of entry all you need is like a 50 dollar maybe even cheaper controller to sort of like manipulate the music with and sort of like beat match and mix or fade it in da, 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 da. and then you're kind of off because all you need to do is then download you know or kind of dig around and find tunes that other people have made and kind of play them really loudly and maybe in a, in a, in a nice order that people kind of like to listen to and that's basically it but for some reason there's a whole generation a whole group of djs out there who legitimately think i don't know like they're in they're in a band like they actually make like i don't know that they think they play an instrument they think they're a fucking architect or something like they take themselves incredibly incredibly seriously even though the job is incredibly easy and even though what they're doing many people could do and um, sometimes much better than what they actually do and it needs to be a somewhat hint of humbleness um, into it but for some reason like you'll definitely meet some of the biggest egos you've ever met if you've ever bumped into like a real dj a professional one irl and obviously you see some responses here with other people in the scene you got the guy from lies um saying very you got of course me saying what i said here on the stream so i'm not going to repeat that but i do flip and agree with matrix man that being you know calling yourself a pro dj allow to somebody who doesn't know you maybe one of the most embarrassing things ever but it's really close a close second and third is definitely telling somebody in real life that you're a podcaster that you have a youtube channel that you stream that just makes me want to vomit in my own flipping mouth so you know if you're out there earning an honest living working a regular nine to five be proud of it because that's something you can actually speak about with some level of pride to your family or friends but going back home and telling your family or friends that you're pursuing being a dj is it's up there like i think about it like similar like you remember like most of you would have like a friend or someone that you know who says they're still pursuing music like to be an artist and stuff and they're like I don't know, in their mid thirties, mid forties and shit, fifties sometimes, and you're like, Bro, you're still trying to make this band shit happen. You've got a kid, man, you're forty seven, like give it up. You know that sort of thing. It's like 
that's that's the same way it feels like sometimes when I say I'm a DJ. No, when I'm out here posting my mixes, it's like it's like you're still out here trying to be the party boy behind the decks. Like, give it up, brother. Give it up. But never, never, never. It's a fun, it's a fun hobby.